Governor Mary Fallon was here on our show yesterday, and she said that the state is now spending more than 50% of its budget on education. But Amanda Amway wants to know, is the governor working well with you to fix the education problem that we are having here in our state? Absolutely. There is great interest all around uh, in the legislature, in our governor's office, to work to solve very, very complex problems. We all want what is best for kids, and, it, and I am grateful for that. We had several people ask this question on social media. Several people call our newsroom. Where is all the money going from the lottery? Sure, there is money from the lottery. Uh, that is actually something certified at the Board of Equalization meetings. I'm on that board, so I do see that figure. The difference is it's not something that is really well identified because it is dispersed even throughout the schools through the school funding formula. So it's not real easy to spot that, but that money does make its way. However, I don't know that it is as much money as some uh, anticipated. Uh, we are where we are, and we need to find a way to properly fund education. We talked previously about the fact that these uh, parents a lot of times rely on school as a means of child care. Um, one of our viewers is asking this, Jay Porter asking us, will the budget cuts affect the pre-K programs? I would really hate to see that opportunity go for my youngest child, as it has been an amazing thing for my oldest child this year. A lot of kids relying on free and reduced lunches, a lot of yeah. kids relying on interaction with other students at that young age. You know, this is something that Oklahoma does very well. Well, and so I, I absolutely agree with this. We don't want to see any gains that we've made uh, slip, and we can't afford to lose ground. Uh, this is part of how we are going to be able to continue to lift education outcomes. So I know that this is something our schools are very mindful of not wanting to uh, lose. However, we are going to see cuts, and those cuts have consequences, and there is really no good way to do that when you are cut to the bone. We've had a lot of people ask, should the coaches who get paid a lot of money, should the administrators, our legislatures, take a pay cut so that we can maintain having substantial teachers, a great amount of teachers and teachers that are really passionate. Do you see making cuts for other people's paychecks so that we can keep our teachers here? You know, teachers have to be uh, the number one priority. They are the largest uh, really expense in any district. Uh, many of our coaches are actually teachers who are also then paid an extra stipend to do that extra work. Uh, that's a local decision. What I would say um, and what I support is we have to make academics number one, but we also have to realize uh, that this is part of how we build uh, leadership, attract uh, sometimes kids to stick with uh, the programs that they are in, in their academics, it, it really keeps a measuring tool in high school for keeping grades up and staying engaged. And so there are very positive benefits that come from these kinds of extracurricular programs, but they are extracurricular. We're hearing a lot about the deficit and how uh, we don't have the money to fund our schools properly. How much money, if you had a wish list, how much money would it take to properly fund our schools to keep those teachers that we need so badly and to really give the education right. to kids that they deserve? That's a great question question, and I've heard this ask uh, rhetorically, how much is enough? Well, I would like to answer that more specifically. There, is, We do know, we have an answer. Um, the answer is enough when we have teachers regionally competitive in their teacher compensation. We are not. Uh, we are at the bottom nationally. Uh, regionally, we would require thousands of dollars of, of increase. Um, we will be at enough when we have all of the mandates that are passed fully funded so that we can actually see many of the reform efforts do their job. But and is there a dollar amount? I think a lot of people are wondering what's the figure? What's yes, the magic figure? Yes, and those, those are all identified. We, we do have figures for that. Um, and that, that is something that you could also add to that. We know we're at enough when we can provide the kinds of advanced coursework that students need to be able to actually leap forward in the kinds of opportunities for college and career readiness. We have yet to do that in Oklahoma. We are not there, and we can tabulate that and know.